Good morning on this beautiful Tuesday. Psalm 53. The fool in his heart says there is no God. They are corrupt, doing abominable iniquity. There is none who does good. God looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. Sometimes it's just hard to connect. I personally love to be in God's presence and to feel the comfort of His Holy Spirit. But can I just be honest? There are times that even though I'm a Christian, I have a hard time connecting to God and experiencing His comforting presence. Then when I think about life without God at all, I find myself drawn to Him. I'm just keenly aware of the fact that for some people, they just have a hard time connecting relationally with anybody, much less connecting to God. The fool in his heart says there is no God. Okay, I'll admit it's pretty hard to fix stupid, but what about, what about all the people who find it hard to connect with God because they find it hard to connect with anyone? I've been noticing a lot of people who keep God at arm's length. People who feel like they can't measure up. People who maybe had a relationship with God and something bad happened and their life fell apart. People who've been abused. They expect people to hurt them so they never really get close to anyone. And while they would love nothing more than to connect with God, they're not even sure it's possible. We're currently living in a time of isolation. And that's reinforcing behaviors that have people keeping God at arm's length. The final verse of this psalm anticipates God's deliverance of his people and assures us we have reason to rejoice because we are connected to him. Lord, in this time of physical isolation, help us to remain relationally connected with our brothers and sisters in Christ and help us to remain connected to you. God, forgive the foolishness of keeping you at arm's length, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Church, get out there and be the church today. I'll see you tomorrow.